Hello, happy Saturday. I wanted to make a video for Australian DV 2022 selectees because I haven't really been talking to you guys and I'm kind of concerned about that, okay? I've talked to a few of you. Um, since the Sydney Embassy is closed, um, I, I assume all of you understand this, but I wanna make sure. You need to move heaven and earth to try to get your interview location reassigned to a U.S. embassy outside of Australia, okay? That means emailing KCC, case number, date of birth, your name, and if you have residency in another country, probably would help to attach that. But that's the first thing that you should do. You should get your interview reassigned. Let me tell you why. Something we learned in DB 2020 and 2021 is the U.S. State Department is not your friend. They're not friends of the diversity visa program. Okay, so all of the DVs that were assigned to Kabul and Baghdad were not issued visas if they did not reassign their interview location. To some extent, that was true with Moscow also. So we have two years now of proof that the, um, the State Department will not help you with this problem to them, they have solved part of their problem because they do not want to issue diversity visas and you do not have a path to a diversity visa if you're just waiting around at an embassy that's not open, okay? So first thing that you should do is try to get your interview location reassigned, okay? Now, if that uh, doesn't work out, second suggestion, um, individual mandamus lawsuit. They aren't cheap. We charge $5,000 for them right now. And then if the, um, if the government decides to fight back, we charge a little bit more, $2,500. Um, but that is an effective tool to um, accelerate the adjudication of a visa application when uh, it's been unreasonably delayed or unlawfully withheld, which I think is um, completely the case with Australians, okay? And then the um, second solution, if that's outside your budget, is participate in our group lawsuit. As you may know, we have been onboarding that for a couple weeks. It ends in at April 30th. So um, the initial, it's $1,500 attorney fees, but the initial payment is only $500. If you want to participate in that, you have to make the decision before the 30th, okay? Um, and trying to make the decision the last day usually causes problems because you have to upload things and make payments. And sometimes people just don't get that done. Um, we, we found a lot of people that wait to the last minute are not able to successfully register for a lawsuit. So three takeaways. If you're assigned to an interview, if your interview location is assigned to an embassy that is not issuing visas, your goal needs to be move that interview location to another embassy. And if that doesn't work, or in addition to that, if you want to ensure against barriers to the issuance of your DV before September 30th, I recommend you participate in litigation. Um, and we offer two solutions for that, an individual lawsuit or the group lawsuit. But uh, the train is leaving the station on the group lawsuit on um, the 30th. That's the deadline, April 30th, okay? So thank you for all my down under viewers today. Have a good weekend. Hi, this is Curtis Morrison. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thank you.